In this video, we'll explain how to improve your return on investment using conversion tracking. Monitoring the number of clicks on your ads is one way to monitor success, but have you ever wondered what happens once the user is on your website? Let's suppose you sell women's shoes. Your goal is not just getting visitors to your website, but also selling shoes. Imagine you can find out exactly how many clicks on your ad resulted in purchases. This would help you determine your return on investment. Conversion tracking can give you that data. It can also help identify which ads and keywords are most effective for your business. You can also use conversion tracking to measure more than purchases. A conversion occurs when a click on your ad leads directly to a behavior that's valuable to you, such as a newsletter signup, lead, view of a specific web page, or download. The good news is you already have everything you need to get started, a web page and your AdWords account. Let's take a look at how to use the tool. First, sign into your AdWords account at adwords.google.com. Then, click the Tools and Analysis tab. Select Conversions from the drop-down menu. Under the Conversions tab, click the New Conversion button. In the Conversion Name field, enter the name of the conversion you'd like to track on your website. This will help you recognize the action later when it shows up in your conversion reports. In this example, we'll use women's shoes. In the conversion location field, select where customers will complete the conversion. For example, if customers purchase shoes on your website, you'll select web page. Click save and continue. On the next page, in the conversion category field, select the category that best applies to the type of action you'd like to track. If you're tracking shoe purchases, you'll pick purchase slash sale. If your conversion doesn't fall into a listed category, select Other. Like the conversion name field, this information acts as a label and won't impact the way your conversions are recorded. In the Page Security Level field, select the security level of your conversion page. For example, if the thank you page that pops up after customers buy your shoes has a website URL address that starts with https colon slash slash, meaning a secure page, then you'll select HTTPS from the drop-down menu. You have the option of entering a number into the conversion value field. This value indicates how much conversion action is worth to you. In our example, a shoe purchase is worth $10 to us, so we'll enter 10. This value will be helpful if you'd like to compare, for example, your actual cost per click charges to the revenue you produce from a conversion. In the tracking indicator field, Choose whether you want to let your customers know that you're using conversion tracking by putting a Google Site Stats notification on your page. If you'd like to add a notification, select Add a Google Site Stats notification to the code generated for my page. Then, select whether you'd like your Google Site Stats to be one or two lines, the language of the notification, and the background color of the web page it will be displayed on. If you prefer not to use a notification, select Don't add a notification to the code generated for my page. However, we require that you inform your customers that you're using AdWords' free conversion tracking feature. For example, you could add a notification to your site's privacy policy. This creates trust and protects users' privacy. Click Save and Continue. Select Someone else makes changes to the code or I make changes to the code depending on which applies to you. If you choose someone else makes changes to the code, just fill out the email form that pops up and click send email. The code snippet will be sent to the person who edits HTML for your website. If you choose I make changes to the code, a window will open up below with your code snippet. Congrats, you've generated the code. Copy it and you'll be ready for the next step. Note that you can click done before or after completing the next step. You'll add your conversion tracking code between the body tags of the web page you'd like to track. Here's a basic example. As soon as you add the conversion tracking code correctly to your web page, you'll start tracking conversions. After 24 hours, you can view statistics in the conversions area of the Tools and Analysis tab of your account. You'll also see new conversion statistics in the tables on your Campaigns tab. If you want to learn more about conversion tracking, take a look at the AdWords Help Center at support.google.com forward slash AdWords.